morning, my beautiful bunny bakers. It is just a gorgeous Monday. Tell me why, I just had Monday. Tell me why. Think positive this morning. Yet again, we are doing some twisted milk bread this morning, which is fabulous. It is so divine. Kids are going to love it. There are so many different varieties you can choose from with regards to your flavors and seasonings. Let's get started. So in this bowl, we have got 450 grams of strong flour. Now, if you don't have strong flour, you can use plain flour. You double your yeast, okay? One sachet of yeast. Now, if you don't have yeast, I'm thinking, give me a thumbs up if you're interested in the sourdough. We show how to make sourdough absolutely divine. In goes one sachet. So we're making twisted milk bread, plaited. Next, we have got our salt and our sugar, and we also have the 290 mils of milk. I nearly said cream. I'm gonna put this in the microwave because I want to have it blood temperature. Two minutes. Dun, 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 dun. One, two, I'll take 30 seconds. I'll probably do it. Do it. Now, with my hand, I'm just gonna mix the yeast. And in goes my salt and my butter. So butter, in it goes. Now if I use my head, I've blended the butter into the bowl. I have to stick one up, stick on my tippy toes. All I'm doing is I'm gonna blend the butter. Now if this butter was super, super, super soft, I wouldn't bother because it would just blend into the flour. And there I go. Okay, so this now, if you're not going to do it as a milk breaded plat, you can do it as an ordinary white loaf. It is divine. I'll also give you the recipes yet again on Facebook. I'll put them up on Instagram. I'll put them up on my YouTube channel, A Touch of Magic 100. So subscribe to the mayhem of Monday Madness. In that goes. In goes our hook, which is fabulous, by the way. Halloween, Captain Hook. See, so buy yourself a mixture. You'll have your hook, our Captain Hook, our Halloween dress up. Fabulous. Okay, in it goes. Just making sure. Got my glasses, they're upstairs. But I don't care, because I made sure that my mixture was going to mix. So we're going to check our milk. Hook. Beautiful. Mustn't forget our salt. And our sugar. That and that. This, I think, is our salt. So I forgot my glasses. So I'm putting in my salt into the flour mix. I'm going to get the sugar. I'm going to put it into my milk. And give it a stir. So my warm milk blood temperature now. This is a fab bread. If you want to make it dairy free, I have also used oat milk. I've used almond milk. I've used soy milk. Instead of the butter, I have used 15 grams of stork block. Not the soft stork, the block of stork. So 15 grams of their stork block into this. There's no egg, no dairy. Happy days. There is a different recipe with regards to the gluten free alternative. It is introducing more liquid by way of egg. That's important because gluten-free flour needs a wetter batter. The wetter the batter, the better. The wetter the batter, the better for gluten-free. In goes our milk. Don't forget it has to be blood temperature, okay? Speed this up a bit. And I'll move this out of the way so you can see. Lovely. We're making bread. Beautiful. Crank it up. Spatula. Just making sure it's going to get and just turn up a little bit. Now, you can do this by hand. You would have arms like other schmutz makeup by the summer if you want to do it by hand. If you are going to do it by hand, you need to knead it to get it all together to almost like a shaggy mix and then you need to stretch it for 10 minutes. This is just a couple of minutes in the Kenwood. Let the Kenwood do 
all the work for you. So, wait, 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 wait. Also, at this stage, if you decided that you want to add some chili flakes, you can add some chili flakes with your milk. If you want to add a little bit more seasoning, you could add half a teaspoon of tomato puree, put it through the milk, so the milk turns this gorgeous tomato puree cube, in it goes and you've got your tomato bread. At this stage, you could add chocolate chips if you want, not with your tomato puree, chocolate chips and make it a completely chocolate chip sweet beautiful bread. Or you can go down, go down the root of your tomato bread, Snip in your sun-dried tomatoes, your olives. Ah, it is! So, wow, 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 wow. As that's mixing, I'm going to bring over my baby. I've pulled my sourdough starter, Robert. I have made numerous loaves this week, and they've been oh, divine without any use. Sourdough. So, for those who want to get a silver, what would you call it? If it's guide to sourdough, let me know in the comments and I'll include it. It will involve stage by stage. Baking is all about patience and time. Now if you want to zoom in and have a look at the dough. Look at that. My magic mixer has practically prepared my dough. And that's it. And it is this lovely, soft, squishy dough. Do not need you anymore, thank you, Ken. You may retire for the morning. We might have Ruby tomorrow. Fantastic. Now, when I have my dough out, it is beautiful. Look, there's no flour. You don't need any flour. <laughs> I don't need any flour. You don't need any flour on your workshop. Because your dough is this beautiful silky mix. And all I'm doing it is just rolling into a sausage. Now there is a method to my madness. I'm going to show you how and why I am doing it. Okay. So we have got a relatively, not really that fussy, okay? We've got a rolling pin. Now, did I bring my knife? Of course I didn't. I'm going to cut these into three. And I'm going to roll into a little bowl. Now, I'm only going to leave these for a few minutes because we're going to roll each of these little balls into a long sausage to create a plat. Okay? I will have stage by stage photographs so you will see. The O'Flaherty's are having bread for breakfast, lunch, dinner, relations, neighbours, frontline, you name it. Because I have made a few. So, we have got three do 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 balls ready. So at this stage I'm going to cover with a bit of cling film. And only for a few minutes. About maybe four minutes. While I am doing that, I'm going to show you where we have proved some of the bread and I'm going to throw it into the oven because at least by the time I do that our rolls will be ready to roll. Now again I'm coming back to my crystallized sugar, you don't have to have crystallized sugar. You can use sesame seeds, you can use poppy seeds. So I have prepared a plat earlier. So we've done a crisscross, crisscross, crisscross. This is not difficult. The only way it's difficult is up here in your head. You can do it. You just gotta believe. My kids in my camps are the most amazing kids. So kids, if you're watching, can you please show your parents how easy this is and can you make the plaited bread for them? Because for those who've done my classes, they come home with a breaded plait because it's as easy as child play. One, two, three. We create this fantastic twisted bread. So we've left this proof for about 30 minutes to nearly 40 minutes. It can even go to an hour. And this is because it's doubled in size. And again, you have this beautiful spring, sprung, spring, spring in your step, a spring in your step. So, egg wash. All I'm doing is brushing this beauty. 
with some egg wash. If you do not want any form of dairy, you can brush it with your soy milk, with your almond milk. You can put even a tiny quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric into your milk and it'll give it that gorgeous color. As I mentioned earlier, if you have got your tomato puree, you can put that through the milk and stir it so it's that gorgeous tomato hue, followed by sun dried tomatoes and you have a savory bread. If at this stage, when you have your little balls of dough, you could decide you are going to knead your sun-dried tomatoes into one bowl, you're going to knead some chopped olives in another, you could knead walnuts in another. When you do your flat, you have got tomato, olive, walnut bread all the way through. So you can get as creative as you wish. As I keep mentioning, you have to have patience when you're baking. Now, the other thing as well, when I'm putting on the glaze, as you can see, it's quite a soft dough. Don't go hard in your pastry brush, because if you go hard in your pastry brush, you will dent your beautiful, beautiful, what, what is it so beautiful? It's the bread. It will damage your beautiful bread. So we have got our glaze ready. So our egg wash to the side, don't need that anymore. And then I'm going crazy on my sugar. Sugar crystals. Sugar crystals, as I mentioned, you don't have to have sugar crystals. I will send and connect all the links that you can purchase, but you don't need them. You can do sesame seeds, you can do poppy seeds, you can just leave it plain, okay? So this is going to go into an oven at 190 for our twisted bread plat for 25 to 30 minutes. This depends on the size of your bread plat. It could take 30 minutes or it could take 25 minutes. So bear with me while I show you how to do the plat. So here we have the plat going into the oven. So Alexa, set timer for 25 minutes. 25 minutes, starting now. Thank you, Alexa. So back to our do. And with each one, I am just going to roll out a little baguette. Now, as you can see, it's like, come back here, come back here. Now I'm going to Get your bucket. Bring it back to you. Bring it back. Do you remember, kids? Bring it back. Bring it back. You spread out your hands like a butterfly. Up at the top. And spread and spread. Moving on to the next one. And again, you're rolling it in to an oblong shape. Bring it back. Bring it back with your butterflies. So your butterflies. So it's down. You pull towards it. Come back here. Down. Pull back. So as you can imagine, my kids, when they do that baking class, one of the things they love is they love to see the growth of this bread. And it starts off so small and so petite, and it just gets bigger and bigger. It's like magic. So roll out again, roll out again, roll it, roll it. So we should have relatively now I'll see if I can do this upside down so we should have three arrows pointing to me so I'm gonna squeeze one and squeeze one down and we're gonna plash so it goes over and over and over and over and over and over and over how one and two and three and four and five. Press down on either end. Now, as you press down on either end, you've an unsightly flattened section of your dough. Tuck its bum, tuck it under its bum, turn it around. And again, tuck it under, tuck it under. So you now have your little breaded plat. And without cling film yet again, Going for a snooze. Keep this in your room covered, even on top of the oven when you're preheating the oven. So preheating the oven, 190. Okay, I'm putting it on the oven. And then you end up with this beautiful bread. So this is your twisted milk plated bread. So many different varieties of fillings and spices and savory bits and bobs and sweets and goodies galore. So have a bash. It's not difficult. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. And for a Monday morning, get cracking. See
see you tomorrow at 10.